Paired in Rumble, we just saw this map. We're going to see it again. This is a rematch here of the previous game. Ducks versus Overwatch. Ducks have already won this matchup, but they're going to have a third game just because. Get a sight on all the ships here very shortly. First one is a Dancing Feather. We have on this side a Hades Artemis Hades. And on this side a Gap Mortar. The Admiral Quack Bar. Left side is the Hades Artemis Hades. Artemis Hades. And on the right side, again, the Gap Mortar. On the Anubis piloted by Zion, we have a Carronade Gat front. And on the side, we have a Carronade Flare. And on the Rainbow Crash, we have a Hades Artemis front. And on the side, a Carronade? Carronade Karen Artemis. Goodness. Cannot talk today. <laughs> Dancing Feather and Admiral Quackbar are getting into the normal sniping position. The long range signs of their ships, good, ta good to take out the uh, capabilities of any kind of charge before it actually hits you. That's four Artemis and two Hades pointing in the exact same direction. Devastating firepower. Follow exactly where they're heading here. Shots coming in from the Rainbow Crash on the Dancing Feather. Balloon taking a few shots. Outer Hull taking a minor nick. Not much to speak of. The Admiral Quackbar is going to be in perfect position to take apart the Rainbow Crash as soon as he comes around. Redrick has realized this and he is wheeling backwards as fast as possible. Anubis, however, comes up and starts to lay into the Admiral Quackbar as fast as he can with that Gat Carronade. Hades shots still focusing on the Admiral Quackbar, or Dancing Feather rather. Anubis being ripped to shreds by those double Gat mortar combinations. Two Gats, two mortars, both pointed in the same direction. Oh, Redra coming in for a ram against the Dancing Feather, but the Dancing Feather quickly dodges out of the way. And the Admiral Quackbar and Dancing Feather layer, layer the tar on the Rainbow Crash. Great maneuverability by the Admiral Quackbar and Dancing Feather. Redrick had a great ram opportunity, but because of quick thinking, he does not get it. Nubis has spawned back in. Rainbow Crash has gotten out of the fight without any permanent damage whatsoever. Admiral Quackbar is chasing a little too eagerly along with the Dancing Feather. I'm not sure this is the best idea in the world. They could easily be drawn into a trap using something like this. Admiral Quackbar has gone a little too far ahead of their partner. Rainbow Crash, although he has his, hull, his uh, engine column exposed and his hull cracked, Anubis is quickly swinging up to bring pain on top of the Admiral Quackbar. Rainbow Crash taking a lot of fire, though. Gat mortar combinations destroying him. Ducks supremely confident in their firepower. And although they eagerly chased, they felt they had the opportunity to simply destroy anything that came in front of them. 3-0 in favor of the Ducks. Rainbow Crash has spawned back in now. I'm not sure I like how the Ducks chased there. I think if they did that a second time, maybe against a different opponent, they would be drawn straight into a trap. But that wasn't the scenario in this situation. They felt they had the firepower to take up whatever was coming at them. Rainbow Crash swinging, swinging around this building here. Doing his best to stay alive while the Anubis comes in behind the Dancing Feather. Admiral Quackbar trying to lay some fire on the Rainbow Crash, but very inaccurate Hades shots. Not typical, otherwise known as atypical of the Ducks team. Normally their Hades shots, at least in this matchup, have been on the mark. Not the situation right now. Rainbow Crash taking a lot of fire from the Hades, those Hades now. 
Rams into a building. He actually knocked his own nose cone into that building. Anubis coming up behind the Dancing Feather. Dancing Feather though, turned his brawl side straight towards the Anubis. And that was all that needed to be said. Rainbow Crash. Directing its fire against the Dancing Feather. I'm not sure if he doesn't expect to be shot or doesn't care at this point. He is in direct line of fire of both Junkers though. Bolting towards the Dancing Feather. He is going to go well above that, however. Surprised he didn't nick that building there. Rainbow Crash is now sitting right on top of where the Dancing Feather was. Rainbow Crash is in a very nasty position right now. Admiral Quackbar swinging in, taking a nasty bump against the ground. Attempting to get a kill off on the Admiral Quackbar. Rainbow Crash rising up to face the Dancing Feather while the Anubis swings in to do as much damage as possible to the Admiral Quackbar. Admiral Quackbar is actually in a pretty nasty position right now. Gatfire going all across its hull and balloon right now. Surprised it didn't lose its balloon. This is a 1v1 scenario on both accounts. Anubis keeping the pressure on the Admiral Quackbar. Admiral Quackbar losing a lot of hull very quickly, tapping a building, and the Overwatch team gets their first points of the game. Rainbow Crash putting a lot of pressure right now on Frogger in the Dancing Feather. Anubis should be swinging back up here to bring additional pressure as well. Rainbow Crash. Oh, it looks like it's trying to sit on the Dancing Feather. I'm trying to get a better perspective of it. Frogger is more than likely doing everything in its power to get out of the situation, but his balloon has not come up yet. And it looks like Rainbow Crash is going to sit on him. There's the sit. Dancing Feather starting to lose hull points from it, but engineers on that ship doing everything they can to make sure they don't go down. They're simply sitting on the ground at this point, but they aren't dying. This is miraculous, to say the least. I'm I'm not sure how the Dancing Feather is holding together. I'm honestly not. Admiral Quackbar is coming back in to try and save the Dancing Feather. There's that hull crack that we were expecting. Perma hull is going down. That pressure from the Rainbow Crash finally does it in. Frogger did everything in his power to not die to the sit from the Rainbow Crash, but said and done, it was just too much, and the ship couldn't take that much weight sitting right on top of it. Admiral Quackbar now in a 2v1 scenario. Hades shots relatively inaccurate from the Rainbow Crash, not what we needed to see from him. There's some Hades shots coming in, but Rainbow Crash is now within arming time. Tar dropping from the Admiral Quackbar. Gentle bump on the balloon from the Rainbow Crash, and Admiral Quackbar is going to have to take a seat. Admiral Quackbar losing a lot of hull very quickly. He may not even get a chance to hit ground. A lot of stuff happening in game right now. Apologies for the lag there, folks. Rainbow Crash. Continually pushing the Admiral Quackbar against the ground. The building sit, and Rainbow Crash crushes another opponent. The Goomba Stomp, as Ace Rimmer likes to say. Rainbow Crash has a lot of pressure on them from the Dancing Feather, but Anubis coming in behind, taking out the balloon. And the Dancing Feather is going to be the third kill, the fourth kill, rather, for the Overwatch team. Overwatch has come back into this match. This game, rather. I'm sorry, this game. 4-4. Four, four. Next kill wins. Rainbow Crash sitting pretty low on Permahull, but Anubis full health and ready to go. Waiting to see exactly where they spawn in. Dancing Feather and the Admiral Quackbar spawn in right next to each other. Checking the positioning here. It appears the Dancing Feather and Admiral Quackbar are bringing their long range sides up and ascending as quickly as possible. 
they have a pretty good idea where the oh they're bout they're bumping each other. Players are going down from the Anubis Rainbow Crash. Not the best idea in the world. They have completely given away their position to the Ducks team at this point. Fire coming in on the Anubis. Rainbow Crash taking fire as well. Both using Kerosene, or uh, Phoenix Claws rather, I'm sorry. Trying to get out of this scenario. Anubis dodged some pretty good Hades fire there. Rainbow Crash is down to just one engine. It's not his main engine. It was one of his it's one of his turning engines. He has not gotten his main engine back up. <clears throat> Pardon me, folks. Anubis swinging around these buildings. I do not believe the ducks have seen him yet. There's the spot from the Admiral Quack Bar. 80 shots coming in on the Anubis. He is a sitting duck. That's probably not the correct term for this situation, but he is sitting still for the most part. Now he gets the kerosene in his engines. He is on the move. Rainbow Crash coming up right behind him. Anubis rising up over those shots. He's lost his outer hull, though. His permahull is being ripped apart. Oh my god, Anubis is losing all of his components. Rainbow Crash bringing pressure on the Admiral Quack Bar right now. Getting him out of the fight. Tar Barrel going down, but not too terribly effective against the Rainbow Crash currently. Admiral Quack Bar going to take a ram from the Rainbow Crash. But now the Rainbow Crash is right on its ball side. I do believe that was the Anubis, though, that just went down. And the Ducks win this very close one, 5-4. Congratulations to Shipmaster Sammy BT and Frogger. Ducks win this matchup 3 0 over the Overwatch team, although that last one was extremely close. Extremely close.